Sockeye fishing on the Kenai Peninsula is really popular, so we set out to show the basic flossing technique. This is How to Fish Sockeye by Fish Alaska Magazine, brought to you by Soldatna Hardware and Fishing. The first thing we did when we headed to the Kenai Peninsula was stop by Soldatna Hardware and Fishing and chat with Haley to get geared up. So these are Akuma Kenai Red Rods. We work with Akuma to make them, especially for the uh, red fishery in Alaska, uh, Kenai River Kisilov and the Russian River. Uh, we currently have two sizes. So we have an eight weight that has a little bit more play in it. And we have a nine weight that's been really popular with um, beginner fishermen and guides. Uh, the tips just hold up a little bit stronger. Um, they're both a nine foot two piece, uh, just solid rod for the river. This is what we call our kind of red end cap. Um, we got a bunch of flies, a bunch of different setups for both the Kenai, Russian, and the Kisilov. Um, so down here, these are made in-house. These are just what we call our little sockeye rigs. Um, so basically, you grab one of these, you tie that onto your main line, you're ready to go fishing. So this one's a little half ounce troll. We got 30 pound test, six feet long, and then we got a three out hook with some yarn. Um, we also have Kodiak Custom, has some sockeye loco rigs, um, and then also drifters flies. They're just a really easy grab and go. Uh, to get out go fishing. Remember up at the Russian um, you need those smaller hooks up there so we have a whole bunch of different colors and sizes for you. So we got a couple sizes right now so these are the half ounce like I was saying earlier. These are really good for if you're down at the Kisilov or if you're somewhere like on a gravel bar in the Kenai where there's a little bit lower water. Remember you want just enough weight to be bouncing on the bottom you don't want to be dragging so you need to get down there but not getting hung up on rocks and stuff. Um, we've had a couple of days of sunshine this week not a lot also just a ton of rain so that's going to raise water levels up a bit so you may notice in some places you're usually fishing with a half you might need to bump up to like a three-quarter ounce or something um, and as July comes the water level gets a little bit a little bit higher we'll have some one ounces as well you guys got your rods we got to get you guys some reels so we're gonna go with Reddington today they got a couple of really nice kind of mid-range reels uh, have tough drag systems just hold up really well so the first one we're gonna look at is the Reddington run um, it's actually kind of a nice stylized down of their higher end rise. Uh, the reason I like the run so much is because it's in a really nice price point, right? So it's around 80 bucks um, and it just holds up really well. It's really lightweight, it's not heavy on the shoulder. Uh, it's a cast aluminum reel and it just does really well for the reds down here. The second one we're gonna grab is the, my most popular, um, which is the Reddington Behemoth. So Reddington a few years ago decided to revamp their fly reels. When they came out with this guy, I was incredibly impressed, blown away. Just a lot of thoughtfulness into the features. So they have a padded handle, got the really nice drag knob on there to adjust, has a nice tight lockdown drag. Um, also for being a cast spool, a nice feature is that veed spool system. Uh, so that's just gonna really reinforce that. Uh, gives a lot of longevity to the reel, especially because this fishery gets so abusive on gear. So that's a really great one. Hey, I'm out here on the Kasilov River. I stopped by, sold out in the trustworthy hardware to get all lined out for gear on how to sockeye fish. And so that's what we're gonna be doing today. And to do this, I've got the, sold out in the trustworthy Okuma Kenai Red Rod. This is the nine weight, nine foot model. We're matching it with a Reddington Behemoth seven, eight weight reel. You want a good sized reel that's got some good drag because these fish fight hard. And uh, we've got backing on here. And then on top for fly line, we're using a Rio 300 grain, 24 foot sink tip. Um, from there, we've just got a short leader. And uh, then we've got one of sold out in the trustworthies, terminal rigging, which is, you see between my fingers, from here to here, it starts with a half ounce trolling sinker. It's got 30 pound trilene, and it goes down to a three yacht Gamagatsu hook. This is a nice strong setup to be able to handle these strong fish that are fresh from the sea bright chrome sockeye pound for pound one of the hardest fighting fish out there so now let me show you how we fish this and we're going to cast straight out in front of us which we'll call 12 o'clock we're going to let the fly line swing to about two o'clock and then we're going to slowly sweep it sweep it fast enough so that the sinker isn't getting hung up on the bottom you can feel a tap 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 and when you feel resistance set the hook let me show you how it's done Sockeye salmon run pretty close to the shore, so we only need about eight feet of fly line out in front of us. Maybe something about that much fly line. What we're gonna do is cast straight across. We're gonna allow swing down to about two o'clock, and then we're gonna 
gently swing the fly across current. We want it moving not far off the bottom, and that's where the sockeye swim. That's about the right distance out. When I get to that point, I start to swing it. When I get to the end of the drift, back out again. I'm fishing straight out to about 45 degrees below me. Swing and reset. What we're trying to do is line these fish in the mouth. When we do, they're pretty easy to control. When we don't, all heck can break loose. That's a little deep. We'll come in a little closer. We cast straight out. If that's 12 o'clock, we swing down to about two. We sweep the rod low and across. Reset. Do it again. Trust with the hardware also makes an eight weight version of this Kenai Red Rod. That'll be a good option. You don't want to go too small because these fish fight hard and there's plenty of current in both the Kenai and the Kasilov. As you swing the fly low and across current here, you want to you want to get it moving as fast as you can while you still feel the weight bouncing on the bottom. These fish are coming through in waves, so you just stay consistent and keep casting. And when they come through, you'll see more than one angler usually hooks a fish. Nadromus sockeye returning from the ocean. Healthy, renewable resource and really good to eat. If, you're, if you've worked the same drift long enough, Sometimes it pays to just lengthen it just a little bit. Oh, there's one. On and off. Generally, sockeye aren't eating when they get into rivers. They're swimming with their mouths open. And what we're trying to do is run this leader material into their open mouth when you feel them hit it and any kind of resistance and you set the hook you see how I, when I, as I swing the rod, I've got the rod tip in the water to low and parallel to the bo river bottom. I'm trying to find salmon on the move.
thanks to our buddies over at Alaska Driftway Fishing, Nick and Nigel, for spending the day on the water with us. Look at these beautiful fillets Nick is producing using a butterflying technique. Well, that's how we do it over here at Fish Alaska. We hope you enjoyed our How to Fish for Sockeye video. Check out the rest of our YouTube channel. Give us a follow and subscribe.